Part One White Clouds Lone Moon To War Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Wait, we started on the 15th? Oh, we missed someone's birthday. Unforgivable. I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. What is her objective? There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlan. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrig Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. Cool. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Why me? You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Not really. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlan. Yeah, Sedith can't be too happy about that decision. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. Huh. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother! I will do my part as well! Flame! Are you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. We have three notes. I bet one of them is going to be, My house leader just declared war. What should I do? Um, meat and vegetables are both delicious, but some people uh, complain about not liking one thing or the other. I just don't understand how anyone can snub a good meal. Uh, it's their loss. More food for you. <laughs> I knew they weren't going to like that. 
Alright, alright, come on. Oh, it's Eloise. Uh, Flane is an interesting young lady, but keep your distance. Says it's quite protective, and you wouldn't want to be the fan of the flames of his wrath. Or should I say, the fan of the flames. Uh, a hedge a hedge between gives friendships green. I feel like you'd like that. Nice. Oh, one more note. Hello. This one's from Edelgard, and it's like, <gasps> it's been a turbulent year. Hmm. Steal yourself. Nah. Bad times help us enjoy good times. No, she didn't like that. Oh, well. Dimitri, what do you have to say? Oh. I'll have that girl's head. Just you wait. Oh. Well now. What about you, Mercedes? I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be alright though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. Yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah, just steal her away from Dimitri's house at the last second. Professor, can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world? Just to uphold their own beliefs? Yes. I've spent my whole life running in fear. And now I We can win this together. Surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? Yes, exactly. Would you like tea? Oh, thank you very much. That's what I thought. Yes. 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 Hello, Setter. We must protect Garrick Mark. Yes. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. Yes. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. View quest. I have something to ask of you. Yes. Uh, okay, let's do the quest right now. And by asking the Imperial Army, they mean one guy. Hi. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. I know. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Thanks. Here we go. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Uh, us or her, you mean? Thinking about it makes me scared. We're up against the entire Imperial Army. Still, I know someone as smart as you will figure something out. Cool. Uh, Alright, let's report to Seteth. Hello, Seteth. Well Thank you. you. Thank you, Seteth. Is that it? Alright, well, Seteth. Hey, it's... Oh! <laughs> uh, let's have tea. I was not expecting this. Um, <laughs> Overcoming weakness. Sure. The last bell. Sure. You're doing great work. Sure. Yeah. Tea master. I'm not yeah. much for conversation. I'll gladly leave if you're bored. What's up with everyone being negative after good tea? Um, I'll disagree. Yes. Perfect tea time. I'm the tea god. That is literally what I am now. I am Tea God. Thank you, everyone. That was a good time. All right, this is it then. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. 
Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. She's back already? Talk about impatient. If we don't stop them, the Academy will be destroyed. Prepare for battle, everyone! Oh, yeah. We will stop Edelgard's rampage! Our opponent is formidable. But if we work together, we will not fail. Enough talking. Let's go! Dear Goddess, please protect us all. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. Professor, Claude, you'll lead the way, won't you? You won't let any of us fall, right? No. <sighs> I wanted to talk to Rhea first, but as expected, that won't be possible. What did she hope to accomplish at the Holy Tomb? What happened to you as a baby? There are still so many things I need to know. The same goes for the real origin of the Crest Stones and the hero's relics. As for Seros and Nemesis, just how much of their mythology is true? We know so little. It's true. But lucky for me, I refuse to die with so much still unknown. Hey, Teach. All joking aside, can we possibly survive this battle? Of course we can. We're the protagonists. And that's all we can do, right? If we gave up, the god of fate wouldn't be happy. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not the kind of man to just roll over and die in a place like this. I have my own ambitions to see to. There are things, dreams, that I must see come to fruition. And I've been thinking, I want you to see those dreams realized as well. On top of all that, there are still so many secrets out there just waiting to be uncovered. We can't let that stand, can we? So, Teach, no, scratch that. You're so much more. You're my ally and my friend. Teach, friend, none of those words quite capture what you've come to mean to me. We may not be connected by blood, but I believe our bond goes deeper than that. Now that we know each other, our hearts are connected. Wouldn't be the first Even person. If our paths diverge and we're forced to say goodbye. I know that we'll meet again. And so, for lack of a better word, I gratefully call you my friend. And I hold fast to the belief that this isn't it for us. No matter who or what you really are, I'll always be on your side. You can't count on much in this world, but you can count on that. Gee, Claude, you're making it sound like this is the final battle or something. I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. Okay. Wow, look at that. two priorities for this battle. Protect the Archbishop and maintain the defensive line. Reinforcements should arrive soon, so just hold your ground until then. Okay, everyone. You heard him. All the teachers are out. Is that Crest Beast? Bro, look at that. That's I don't remember him looking like that, bro. That's weird. Is that old guard here? There she is. Full flame emperor attire. What if I had just had Byleth? Oh wait, who's that? Look at these like people who like we've just never met. How crazy is that? Um, I guess that's why you play the other routes. I'm gonna have Stay Byleth focused. storm straight for old guard like right now. Like I believe in him. Uh, wait, he has fire. Oh, it's because I taught him faith, so he knows a ranged attack. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I love that.
Come on, no Lorenz. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. If it were so, I would have done anything to make you my ally. My life was changed forever by Her Majesty. Now, I lay it on the line. Uh -huh. For the Empire! Uh-huh. I think Byleth's crest activated because it looked like he got some health back. Lady Edelgard, I'm so sorry. I can't keep going. I must retreat. I know what happens now. No, come on! My battle ends here. Oh, right, come on, I knew that was coming. What am I talking about? Wait, what? Wait, Byleth went down. What are you talking about? Huh? Byleth went down and the battle didn't end. Excuse me? Excuse me. Oh, I was like, why is there so much battle space? No. No. It's not loud. All right. Sorry, little god. This is where I must put you down. <laughs> nice try. There you go. The battle of Garag Mark is over in eight turns. Yes. well, but now your fight is over. No. Send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal. No. What is this? Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. No, I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. going on
Why did you come? In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Oh, she won. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished. Oh, no. Her whereabouts remain unknown. Well, she's a dragon, though. So With I guess she flew off. Attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fogland has begun. <laughs> unification, big quotes. I mean, if I was the Leicester Alliance, I would just, like, team up. With the Holy Kingdom, because why not? 